Hello, 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 everybody. Sorry, no in-person intro for this video. There was a few gardeners dotted around and people, and to be honest, I got a little bit camera shy, so <laughs> I don't like recording in front of people. Um, anyway, this is some, blue, what is it, blue limestone? I don't know, it's something. I'll put the actual name of this stone on screen now. Look at the state of it. It is covered in all sorts of organic growth. They don't remember the last time it was cleaned, but it's been some years. Um, but because of the great job we did today, they've booked me in yearly, so yeah. This one is one of my favorite jobs I've done so far this year. So it's a straight up pressure wash with some slight chemical treatments on some of the patches, but we had to be quite careful because of all the lovely plants around in, and obviously there was a lot of people around. So you've got to be careful with your chemical use, folks. Stay tuned, this one is a good one. Thanks guys. So starting off here folks, I'm just cutting in the edges with the, uh, I think it's a 60 degree tip on the end of that lance. Uh, as you can see there's a lot of heavy staining on the edges right next to where the plants are. So I'm going to give these some extra tension in a short while um, and use a bit more of a sharper nozzle. I'm going over this really quickly here just because if it is limestone it has a tendency to mark very easily. So I don't want to be spending too long on it and putting too much pressure on it, potentially leaving lines when it's dried. So that's why I'm moving quite erratically and quite quick. Basically just a quick clean to cut the edges in and then I'm going to be using the flat surface cleaner on the main portion of the stone. I'll let this real time footage play out and then I'll get into some nice time lapse stuff with some chill out music so enjoy the video folks, nice one.
Look at that. Guys, I am buzzing. Look how good that looks. Amazing. I mean, there's a few sort of spots on it. I'm very hesitant about chemicals because they look after this garden so nice. Um, I do worry about overspray or anything, but I'm going to try my best. There's a particularly dark patch there that I'll probably put some hypochlorite on, but wow, look at that. Look how good it looks. What an absolutely amazing difference. So we've still got all of this to do around here. We'll smarten all this up, lovely. Um, and then obviously a little bit around there. Uh, but let me take you through what we've done so far. Um, I just went straight with flat surface cleaner, so I've still got a cut in around some of the edges. Sort of underneath here as well, as you can see. You can see how green it was there. The, uh, the They've used like a, a joint tip compound to uh, point the point the slabs so um, they've already said yeah they're going to redo most of that anyway so um, I'm still using really low pressure but some of it is sort of coming away but wow look at that so we've done all of this hasn't taken long at all really all down here it's fantastic it's drying out nicely down there as well where the sun is um, but still got to rinse off again and everything but I'll finish up the whole flat surface cleaning and then I'll go around the edges and neaten all that up and then Rinse down and then we're done. So yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Guys, trust me, these sorts of jobs, they don't come around very often where it just looks that good straight away. Um, and it's such a big area full of lovely sandstone as well, but it's blue. That's what surprised me. I thought it was going to be gray, but it's blue. There's loads of blue ones in it. Fantastic. So yeah, right, let's get stuck in with that. I've already done one job this morning. I don't know if that'll be in this video or another one, but I love pressure washing day, guys. I really do. So much easier than roof cleaning. Right, let's go, let's crack on with this bit. Okay folks, so treatment's down now. If you're wondering why I didn't do it all, um, I just really need to minimize the risk of any runoff. There's just plants and lovely grass and everything surrounding everything here. The actual drainage is there, which isn't the best to get to. It kind of slopes towards where I am now. So I, I've only put a bit down. I'm just treating the very worst of the black spots. I can't risk doing it all. Um, there's like literally like three gardeners here today. <laughs> it's quite a big area this place is so. Um, Sorry, let me take my earbuds out so I can actually hear one saying. Yeah, um, if a place has got three gardeners and they really look after their land, I do not want to mess anything up, so I've got to be super careful today. Thank you. 
Right then folks, all done. I am absolutely buzzing with that job. This place, I love this place, it's amazing. It's gone a bit windy all of a sudden. But there we go, beginning to dry it now, we're just packing up. Um, I'm coming back to do the other bit because of the drainage issue there. I don't have the gutter vac on board, so I don't want to cause a flood into the house. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Lovely jubbly. I can't believe how well that's come up. I can't believe the colour of it. It's like a blue and a grey and yeah, white slabs as well. Everything amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It has uh, been one of my favourite jobs I've done this year that has. Quick and easy as well. Oh God, I love this garden. I wish I had land like this. Yeah, quick and easy. No worries, no dramas. And a lovely finish. So thanks very much guys, if you enjoyed that video, leave it a like, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.